Tonight, former JEA CEO Aaron Zahn is firing back days after losing his job. A lawyer for Zahn says an investigation misguided the board and their decision. On your side, Alex Ositis obtained a letter from Zahn's attorney, and he joins us live tonight from downtown. And Alex, what did you find out? Well, Anthony, this is that letter from Zahn's attorney who says that his client is a victim of, quote, overheated and irresponsible political rhetoric. Out of a job, but fighting back. Aaron Zahn's benefits and paycheck done as of this week, but his lawyer says none of that should have happened. In a three-page letter John Mullen sent to the On Your Side team, he says Aaron Zahn didn't alter any consulting PowerPoint, as city attorney is alleged. But for Councilman Rory Diamond, he believes the investigation holds up. You look at the different reports, the documents that were changed, um, it goes into Aaron Zahn's email one way and then comes out of his email a different way. And so a logical person would conclude that he changed it. Mullen also argues Zahn worked in good faith to develop the controversial performance unit plan, which would have netted employee investors millions had a utility been sold. Zahn plans to appeal his firing. That'll be an issue for the new JEA board, which will be filled with new faces following the mass resignation Tuesday. Jacksonville City Councilman Garrett Dennis arguing it's time to let City Council appoint some of the utility board's seats. I truly believe that uh, that we are in a charter crisis uh, with the entire board. How can you run a billion dollar agency when there's no oversight, when there's no board? Dennis plans to bring his plan back in front of City Council on Tuesday before any of the appointments to the new JEA board would start to take place. Reporting live from downtown, Alex inside his First Coast News on your side. Continuing coverage now, we've learned that bids from four companies vying to buy JEA range from five to more than eight billion dollars, billion with a B, according to information released by the city's ethics officer. Bids were received from nine companies, but only four have been made public because some of the bidders, including Duke and FPL's parent company, Next Era Energy, say the amounts are trade secrets.